After replacing with a new screen on iPad, the original screen MPSN is not written, which may cause the diagonal lines being wavy. Use JC ID iPad Screen Read and Read Adapter to save and write the original screen data with one click. First, let's take a look at the iPad Screen Read and Read Adapter in the standard package FPC, iPad Air 3, 10.5 inch converter FPC, iPad Air 4, 10.9 inch converter FPC, iPad Mini 6, 8.3 inch converter FPC, iPad Pro 3, 11 inch converter FPC, and the 18 cm connection FPC. Select the corresponding iPad converter FPC. Buckle the converter FPC into the connection FPC. Then connect the converter FPC to the iPad display port. Then connect the iPad screen display FPC to the converter FPC. After that, turn on the iPad. Prepare the V1 S Pro and iPad Screen Read and Write Adapter. You can choose one of the two read and write interfaces. Then connect the other end of the connection FPC to the read and write interface of the adapter. Save data. Select the model corresponding to the screen. Click Read. V1 Pro reminds to light up the screen or check whether the screen model is correct before reading and writing. The model can be found on the back of the iPad. Open JC Drawing on the computer. Login. Find maintenance knowledge in JC Drawing. And then select the iPad Plus Model Plus Summary. Open the file, and you can find the corresponding iPad according to the model. Light up the screen of iPad. Click Read. Click Save Data to save the MTSN of the original screen. You can also unbind by scanning the code to unbind remotely with mobile phone and save the original screen MTSN data. Prepare a mobile phone and a data cable. Connect V1 Pro to mobile phone with data cable. After connecting, select the screen model. Click Scan and Unbind. Scan the QR code on V1 Pro via the scanning function of WeChat. Then scan the QR code on the back of the iPad screen according to the prompt. It shows that the unbinding is successful and the data has been backed up in the cloud. Just write the cloud data via V1 as Pro. Write data. After replacing with the new screen, select the screen model. Click Open File. Select Local File. Find the original screen file that has was backed up before. Open the file. Click Write. It shows Write failed. Light up the iPad screen and click Write again. After it shows that the writing is successful, test whether there are wavy stripes when drawing. No wavy stripes appear. It indicates that the original screen data is written successfully.